Joining me now here on the MMA Report is the Fire SKOE Challenge and Aline Malay McFarlane for the Bellator Flyweight title. Come on Friday night, June the 22nd. It's Alejandra Lara, of course, won her Bellator debut last year. Now this title matchup. And I appreciate the time. I think when people think about this fight, they look at you and they go, everyone's expecting you to lose. Even Aline McFarlane said that. And and her, her way of is going is, People are not showing her the respect she deserves. I talked to Valerie Letourneau. I said, who do you think is going to win this fight? And she goes, I haven't even seen McFarlane's opponent fight yet. Uh, do you feel like people just aren't giving you the respect you deserve? Um, I, I feel that, that that could be an advantage for me, actually, because uh, no one actually n- know me yet. And that that's good for my strategy and my game plan this time. But yeah, it was like when when I was in Italy, they, they didn't even put well my name in, in the match at, at the beginning. But uh, that doesn't matter for me. It's it's like it's okay. I'm new here. Uh, there aren't uh, a lot of Colombians here, so uh, it's it's what you do what make your name big. What would you want the fans of Bellator and MMA to know about you heading into this fight? Mm, I'm preparing this time very good in every aspect, in, in every area, because uh, the last time my, my preparation was interrupted and I just had to do like my wrestling and my jiu-jitsu because I, I, were, uh, I was in Colombia and I... Just approach what, what I have to hand noted in my game plan. And this time it, it, it's going to be different. It's, uh, I feel really good prepared with my striking and uh, ready to, to demonstrate what I have. And of course, uh, we're, we're, we're talking, we're two weeks out from this fight. So what is the next two weeks like for you? Okay, what, in my mind right now, it's to get that belt. I, I think this is the the perfect time to to go for it because it's the, the category it's it's new yeah the, it's the first uh, defense of, of the uh, of Ilima and I I feel that I can go for 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 everything I don't know I, I'm just expecting when whatever it happens and. To give the best. Now you're going into her backyard. Is that something you 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 revel at? You love the fact of hey, she's got all the pressure. She's a champion. She's in her backyard. I mean, is that kind of like you, you like have kind of uh, I don't know villain is the right word to say, but do you like being in that scene where you're going into your opponent's backyard? Yeah, and most in this moment, you know, I have nothing to lose. It's what I feel. I have everything to win, and I feel really confident right now. And yeah, it, it's a good position from here. I, I don't have pressure from any any part, and it's good. And of course, uh, I think one of the signs that people or things that people don't know about you is, is uh, the talented team that is around you. Fires at Fight Invicta, uh, the UFC as well, most notably Alexa Grasso. Um, you know, so kind of talk about your team and and who's getting you ready for this matchup. Yeah, we are. We have a girl team, really tough. Uh, they they are everyone. The Alexa Grasso and Ildana. Uh, also, we have uh, yeah fighters in in Victa, in XFL, uh, big leagues from here, and they are <laughs> beautiful like monsters. Uh, they are <laughs> really really strong, and uh, when you are watching them training, you get that motivation to to be like that like them. And, that that basis, that strong uh, basis of uh, striking, but also we have very good um, partners, men. We have a, a men team too. They are always pushing us very hard, like this hard. <laughs> Yesterday was a, a big sparring, and it's it's a, a family, like 
uh, team have, have to be. It's it's really great to be surrounded by uh, people so talented and and good partners. Uh, one of the things your manager, Hector Castro, was telling me is that you actually did some commentating for uh, Empire MMA. So in terms of a, it being a commentator for a fight, is there anything being in that seat that you learn about the fight game that may be something you don't think about when you're in the training room? Yes, I think I have a lot of possibilities, and I'm not close about that. I'm open about everything I like to to act to develop uh, every skill that I can in in every aspect and I'm going to approach uh, every opportunity that life offers to me is your view of this fight of I'm coming to shock the MMA world You know, they talk about when you're the you, when you're the underdog, when everyone thinks that you're going to lose the fight. Do you, is your mindset like, hey, I'm coming to shock the world? It's going to be a shock to everyone else, but for me and my team, you know, we're all expecting this. I mean, is that kind of like a motivation of shocking the world? Of course, that that's a thing that I have in my mind. Uh, not not just representing Colombia, but Latin America. And to show the people that they can uh, go for, they can get dreams with, with determination. And uh, I know I can do it. And and it's going to be a surprise for everyone. And I like that. And, of course, this all goes down on Friday night, June the 29th. Of course, live on the Paramount Network, Bellator 201. Really do appreciate the time. Where can everybody follow you at on social media? Thank you very much. Uh, you can follow me as Aleja Zulara. Uh, I appreciate if you can spell it because <laughs> in Spanish it's different, but Alejandra Azul Lara, uh, it means blue. And thank you for the support, and you're going to watch a great fight this June. I really appreciate time. Look forward to seeing your fight. Thank you very much.